Good day everyone. Today, I would like to share with you all how I solved my concern that had been troubling me for weeks since the Movement Control Order MCO had started since March 2020. When the COVID-19 virus strikes our country, my workplace is affected too. To protect ourselves from accidentally being infected by the virus and spread to others, all staffs are required to wear different levels of personal protective equipment PPE. For pharmacy department that I work at, I need to wear face mask and face shield when performing tasks facing patients such as giving numbers to patients, dispensing and counseling. The main problem that troubles me a lot is the water vapor condenses and traps in areas in front of the eyes. This is because the whole stretch of sponge presses against the forehead fitly and does not allow any water vapor to escape. Consequently, the fog formed blurs vision. The fact that I am short-sighted, together with the water vapor make it difficult to read the prescriptions and details on medicines labels quickly. As my speed slows down, work performance target to serve patients faster and incoming flux of patients trigger an adrenaline rush in me, resulting in more water vapor being exhaled out and trapped. Furthermore, the doors are opened to improve circulation of air. Although this reduces chances of transmission, at the same time, the air-conditioned effect is not well contained plus hot weather further worsen the fog problem. Of course you can buy an anti-fog face shield which costs around 10 to 20 ringgit. However, time to ship might be an issue if purchased online. Shops might not have ready stock too. The noob solution I have for this fog problem is to use tissue to wipe the inner side of my face shield, just like how the car wiper works to get rid of rain droplets. During peak time, I have to wipe my face shield every 5 minutes. This is not ideal as my hands touch prescriptions, medicines, patients' home-based card, work surfaces, reusing tissue multiple times increase risk of droplets transmission. Besides, it's just troublesome and time-consuming to do many times too. I got an idea on how to solve this problem while I am showering below a shower head. I am imagining if I am a fish swimming in ocean, but suddenly I realize I am human. So to do that, I need a diving breathing tube. The aha moment came. Perhaps, I can release those water vapor like how fish releases water bubbles to clear the fog. Next, my job is to think how to install an escape route. Immediately I thought of the straw that I kept for a bubble drink I drank some days ago. By the way, a big thank you to Su Chi Foundation for making and donating these face shields for medical staffs like me to use. Without further ado, let's start experimenting and get our hands on. Step 1, turn the face shield to the back. Then, insert the sharp end of a pair of scissors into the center of the sponge and make a slit as middle as possible. Step 3, slowly cut with scissor all the way through like this. Next, measure the length of straw about the same height of the sponge and cut it. Lastly, put the cut straw all the way in, like how you would insert a suppository. From my experience, the straw remains in place and does not slip out. I guess the friction within the sponge is enough to hold the straw in. Alternatively, you can use a transparent straw to make it less obvious. I changed my face shield about once a week and so far I am satisfied with my straw version of anti-fog face shield because my vision was clear and I can perform tasks at my top speed. Sometimes, one straw is not enough to remove the fog and I install another channel directly above the areas which it usually fogs immediately solve the problem. So far I only tried with milk tea big straws. If using small straw, I guess more channels need to be installed to achieve the same effect. If you have tried other method, feel free to comment below to let all of us know how it goes. Last but not least, few pieces of 10 ringgit notes might be saved with this simple DIY and you can use it to buy yourself another drink or treat. Please note that any content of this video does not substitute professional medical advices. If you have any health issues, please speak to your doctor and healthcare team. This video is merely my own experiment. This method does not stop virus transmission 100%. Standard precautions are still needed. Thank you for watching Lively Life Snippets and if you like my videos, hit the like and share button.
Don't forget to subscribe and see you all in the next episode.